QuickTime offers you some very basic editing features, and these are very useful. So we're gonna go through some of those useful editing features within QuickTime. So the first thing you need to do is open up one of your videos that you want to edit. Now I've opened up the screencast that I did in the last lesson. So if we go over to the edit menu, we can do various things within this screencast. I can rotate this screencast, and I can rotate it as many times as I want. I can rotate it right and left. I can also flip the screencast horizontally or vertically. So if you want to do a mirror image, then you will click it and you flip it horizontally. Let's flip it back. And equally, you can do it vertically and flip your movie vertically as well. Let's flip it back. In addition, you can also split the clip. So if you wanted to split your clip into two sections, you are able to do that. So we need to go to the point in our video where we want to split the clip. So let's move it to around this point here. Now what we do, we go over to edit and we click on split clip. Now we select the part that we want to split to. So we can click on this one and click done. And now we have a new file. So what we need to do is go and save this. The easiest way to save it is click on the X in the corner. And now we can give it a title. If we go into our finder, we will now have, we can see we have our split clip here and we have our original clip here. One of the other things we can do in the editing is trim our clips. So a split clip will split it from the beginning and somewhere in the middle to the end. Whereas a trim will take a section of the clip that you want. So let's try that now. So let's go to edit and then trim. Now it's gonna ask us what we want to trim. So we drag in the bit that we want to trim and we drag it in from the other end. We click on trim and now we have a new movie. We can click on X to save it give it a name, and then save. And finally, one of the other things that we can do within the editing suite of QuickTime, we can add files together. So what I want to do is I want to add this file to my movie recording that I did in my first lesson. So let's do that. I want to go down to edit. I'm going to click on add clip to end. Then it's going to ask me what clip do I want to add. So I'm going to add on creating a movie, and then choose media. And you can see now that that has actually added it on to the end. We can click done. And if I was to play that movie towards the end, we can see there it goes straight into the movie. So we can add clips together. And this is what I was saying earlier about a learning log for the students. They could create several different learning logs for each particular day and then use this feature to add them all together so they have one learning log. So there are some of the editing features you can do within QuickTime, but it is worth pointing out. If you want to do some other editing, then you could use iMovie to do some titles, transitions, different effects, etc. Or you can upload it to YouTube and you could use some of the YouTube editing features which YouTube offers.